inflation falls two-tenths of a percentage point to 2.4 percent, Federal Reserve officials say they're still not willing to declare a victory just yet. The Bureau of Economic Analysis reported the findings Thursday, February 29th, which reveals the lowest rate since February of 2021, shortly after President Biden took office. The drop in inflation is leaving some optimistic that the Fed's tactic of raising interest rates is working. The Fed's target is 2 percent inflation in the PCE index. However, the report wasn't entirely favorable. Core inflation, which strips out fluctuating categories such as food and inflation, fell only a tenth percentage point to 2.8 percent for the year. Core inflation was 0.4 percent just in the month of January, well above the pace consistent with the Fed's target. House Ways and Means Chairman Jason Smith says no matter what gauge is used, inflation is still stuck above the Federal Reserve's two percentage target. In a statement, he went on to say high interest rates to combat Biden inflation are driving up home and auto prices for families and the cost of doing business on Main Street. This latest report for January has been much anticipated as officials have been receiving conflicting information in regards to the actual path of inflation. While the higher rates have taken a toll on home buying, consumer spending has not slowed down. While economists say growth is expected through 2024, inflation itself has greatly impacted Biden's approval rating.